Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I'm sorry, it's been a while, right? Um, it's been a little over a week and a half. Um, we've been, I've been working, <laughs> doing a lot of uh, work, um, and so therefore, uh, when I get a chance, I use the time to work on the car and not make videos. Um, apologize, but that's just the way it's going to be. Um, but at least now I have uh, some stuff to show you on the progress that we've made. Um, so follow along and I hope you like what you see. So here we are. We've uh, actually started putting some of the nice panels that we got on. Um, let's see, down here we got the diffuser and you've seen the rear bumper and then uh, the quarter panels and the sail panels. And we're starting to work on the rear engine hatch. We're trying to gap everything as best we can. Um, got the wing on, so that's going pretty well. The other thing that we've really been concentrating on is the dash. Now, um, we've decided since we were able to procure one of these, we've decided to go with a somewhat traditional uh, interior for the uh, Aventador. And we talked about that uh, as well. Uh, the only thing that's really different is that uh, gear shift lever. So the, the gated shifter uh, will remain. Um, we got some of these uh, uh, pieces that you've seen before, some other pieces that you may have not seen before. And we've started mocking up the interior. So you can see we're actually going to go with a digital dash that will uh, somewhat uh, mock the Aventador dash. We've got the Aventador um, uh, vents in here and stuff like that. And so um, we're hoping to get it. It's not going to be perfect. We still have some work to do. I have to lift it up a little bit because the vents in the center are hitting the console. You know, it's little things like that that we have to get right. Um, and then also we've got some more uh, pieces like this gap right here. I actually found a brand new uh, piece that goes here for the real Aventador um, that was relatively inexpensive. So uh, we went ahead and uh, got that piece. And then I'm going to now take you down and show you the pieces that we got. So here's some of the parts that we've been accumulating um, as they come in. Uh, I just keep camping out on the Eurospares <laughs> website. Um, I check it almost daily to see when they have uh, new used parts come in and uh, ones that are, you know, have some damage on them that are just, you know, uh, not something that uh, other people want to uh, take care of. So, you know, we've got scuffs and and dents and stuff like that on these panels. So, you know they do need some repair um but we can we can uh, certainly uh be okay with that and maybe eventually down the line fix them um but it's really nice to have just real lamborghini parts to be able to put into this vehicle um one of the other things that we did was we got this piece too which is the piece that goes uh in between the uh glass and the or the windshield and the um a hood so we're going to be uh, modifying that and getting that in place the sill plate here we're going to have to modify uh, the door jam uh, and the door uh, to make these parts work but I think it'll turn out so much better just having this nice interior here so that's it for this video I know it's a little short but I hope you it shows you that we're moving forward towards getting um, a relatively authentic in, uh, Aventador interior. And uh, we're going to keep working on this project. Um, and so I hope you guys like what we're doing and keep watching. And I will try to get out more videos uh, as it goes, as we uh, move forward with the project. Thanks again for watching. Uh, we really appreciate your support. And uh, we'll see you soon.